This is a beautiful live oak tree, Quercus chrysolopus. This is a tree with many trunks. It's a tree with many names. Mall oak, gold cup oak, canyon live oak, just a few of the names of this tree. Notice the many trunks of Quercus chrysolopus. It clones commonly. Some oaks have multiple trunks based on the fire regime, where the fires come in, do some burning, and then stumps will sprout after the fire. In this case, it's in the DNA. Multiple trunks are very common in this most common tree in the state of California. It's found extensively in the canyons of the mountains up and down the state from Oregon into Baja, California. Cloning is common in other forest trees. For example, the aspens in uh, Utah, for example, will send up root um, stems and there will be extensive areas where the DNA is identical in large stands of trees. Each of these trunks behind me on this oak tree are also from the same trunk base. It's not three or four acorns that started in the same place. It's one acorn, multiple trunks. One of the common names, mall oak, is in reference to the wood in this special tree. The wood is very hard. Oak species all have hardwood. This wood is even harder than most. Used for a mall uh, in pioneer times. A mall is kind of a wedge-shaped piece of wood used to split other tree trunks into firewood. So the mall oak is from that name based on hardwood. The gold cup oak name comes from uh, golden hairs or golden scales on the underside of the leaf or the scales of the acorn cup. So a lot of these common names are derived from special features of the canyon live oak, which is an oak found in canyons. So you have a big canopy above and a nice place underneath to put your picnic tables in parks. So park lands like to be part of the Quercus chrysolopus forests in Southern California. The leaves of the gold cup oak, underneath they are a pale, almost a blue-green, with a little yellow look, which is from hairs that grow underneath. The top is a basically a shiny green. The edges are smooth, but on new growth, the edges are very prickled, and it's a defense against the browsers. As the tree matures, uh, the prickles become irrelevant, and the entire edge of the leaf without the prickles is the common feature of the leaves on Quercus chrysolopus. The acorns also are special. They're probably the largest acorn of any of the oaks in Southern California. They have a huge cap on the top and a large acorn. You can see it fits right into that li large cap. You might think, well, that's pretty tasty if you are a Native American in this area, but it was commonly not used for food. Possibly too high in tannin, not sweet enough, the oil content was wrong, so the Indians in the area did not make major use of the acorns of this very special tree. This oak, Quercus chrysolopus, became a huge multi-trunked tree. It survived a number of fires, survived bark beetles, survived for a couple of centuries or more right here in this spot. Four years ago, the Cedar Fire came through. The Cedar Fire destroyed lots of oaks and most of the pines. This tree died. Not that common that fires are hot enough to kill an oak this size, this age. This huge oak, uh, after more than a couple hundred years, uh, is dead. Its skeleton remains. It's still beautiful. This tree was greatly loved by the people in the area. They took the time and 
money to put wires up there to keep those old limbs in place. The fire has ended all that. But those boughs remain. It'll take a long time before this tree becomes mulch on the forest floor. This special tree with many names and many trunks, Quercus chrysolopus, here in the mountains in San Diego region, one of our favorite live oaks. Mm -hmm.